Hello everyone, in today's class we will discuss the mechanical properties of filter fabric and also different standards. We will try to understand different standards, we will also try to understand different types of filters based on their shapes. First mechanical properties, the first mechanical properties which is important for filter fabrics is tensile strength. Tensile strength can be tested as per strip test which follows the ASTM D5035 grab test then many other standards also available for this strip test and grab test. Testing mechanisms which affect the tensile strain results are their basically gauge length speeds. So, the mechanisms are constant rate of extension, constant rate of loading, constant rate of traverse. So, we are not going to discuss detail of these methods, because you all must have learned in other course that is evaluation of textile material course. So, here the result is expressed in terms of breaking force that is peak load, breaking elongation and modulus which is stress by strain. After tensile strength, the tear strength is also important which is tongue tear strength where this is the specimen of dimension 200 millimeter by 75 millimeter as per ASTM standard and a cut is made of 75 millimeter length and these two sides are gripped with the jaws of the tensile tester and tensile test is carried out and the fabrics will tear through the this zone and the testing mechanism is constant rate of extension and test data output here either we can have maximum force or average force of some of these peaks are used and this data is often normalized for weight. So, maximum load per weight is, is the normalized tear strength. Next parameter which is very important for busting for the filter fabric is busting strength. In this test pressure is being applied perpendicular to the plane of the filter. Okay but the failure is basically in plane direction. Bust strength is the pressure at which the filter bust often it is divided by the grammage to get the bust index. So, the grammage is basically important because higher the grammage higher will be the busting strength in general. So, busting index will be is the normalized value irrespective of the grammage. Now, coming to the standards as I have already mentioned there are many other standards and two 
standards are widely used. One is American standard, another is European standard. American standard is ASH RAE, American Society of Heating, Refrigerating and Air Conditioning Engineering. And in this standard, the filtration efficiency is expressed in terms of MERV value. Now, we are we have to understand the MERV concept of MERV. Here, this is the say range of values. So, range is 1 to say 12, size range here it is a 0.3 to 0.4, these are the size and geometric mean is 0.35 micron. Okay. These are the lower size and this is upper size. So, in the particles in this upper zone, it is basically used, these are used for respirable size particles all the evaluations of filters efficiency on respirable size particles. So, for testing filtration efficiency for respirable size particles are this range. And if you want to test for coarse particles, these are the particles size allows selection of a filter based upon the most common particles of contaminants. These are the most common contaminants. Now, let us try to see the MERB value, different MERB values and what are their areas of application and how this efficiency changes with the particle size. Now, this is for MERV 14, which means it is for very fine particles. So, particle of size say 0.35 micron, it is very fine particle and as we increase the particle size the filtration efficiency will increase. This MERB 14 is the characteristics of filter medium. So, if we use MERB 14 in that case, if we have a particle of size 0.35 micron, this will give a filtration efficiency of around 70 to 73 percent. As we increase the particle size little bit say for say 1.44 micron particle size or 1.5 micron particle size around that the filtration efficiency will be almost 100 percent. So, for this type of filter we can have very high filtration efficiency for lower particle size. So, this is typically applied as final filter. Okay. This is for final filter of any filtration system. Next is that for MERV 13, as MERV value reduces the filters characteristics is becoming lower and lower. So, if we see MERB 14 for same particle size of say 0.35 micron particle size, the filtration efficiency of this MERB 13 filter has dropped from 70 to 73 to 55 percent around 55 percent, but as we increase the 
particle size the filtration efficiency increases gradually. So, this is little bit coarser filters than the MERB 14, it is typically applied in above average commercial application. Okay. So, average commercial application above average commercial application means for very actual high required commercial application we can use for maybe for hospital more for different application we can use MERB 14 13. Okay. Now, MERB 11 it is applied in standard commercial building like office spaces where the filtration efficiency is lower. So, gradually if we reduce the MERV value to say MERV 6 here which is used for different applications. So, this is MERV 1 to 5 this is MERB 1 to 5, it is for very coarse application. So, all these curves shows that the characteristics of different types of filters. Here the MERB values, so 13 to 16, 9 to 12, 5 to 8 or 1 to 4, this are the different ranges and second column shows that the different types of particles this can handle. So, MERB higher MERB means it this will handle the finer particle. So, 13 to 16 MERB it is actually it handles the particle size from 0.3 to 1 micron, 9 to 12 it is 1 to 3 micron. 5 to 8 it handles 3 to 10 micron and 1 to 4 it is larger than 10 micron. So, higher MERV filters are used for specific high end applications the 13 to 16 it is applied in hospital and different superior commercial buildings. 9 to 12 is its superior residential building, better commercial establishment we can use, 5 to 8 is used its normal commercial building, okay, industrial workplace, 1 to 4 is used uh, where minimum filtration is required okay. in the residential or window air conditioner where we need higher air flow and less filtration. So, 1 to 4 is used in all these applications like window air condition. Okay. Now, we will discuss the products. There are different types of products available filter products based on the their size. First is it is a it is called flat filter. The fl what is flat filter? The flat filters are used without any frame or with frame for bigger size and these filters are flat in surface. These are rigid. Okay. They would be divided into two variants bulk filter the thermal or chemical bonded non ovens, needle punch non oven and another type is thin filter, these are oven or knitted fabrics, spun bonded or melt blown. This is the flat filter, okay. the filters are flat in surface. Okay. The end uses are cheap filters for common applications like vacuum cleaner, kitchen digester, paint box in all these applications where 
the filter shape is in flat condition. So, we use this type of filters or also in pre filter sometime we use okay, most air ventilation system in pre filter we can use this type of filter. Another filter is it is called plated filter, plated filters are basically it is a variation of the flat filter. In flat filter the shape is in flat condition when air is flowing. Here the area of the filter surface area of the filter is limited that is why the pressure drop will be more pressure drop is a for that is force that is by unit area. Now, if we can somehow increase the area by having same force value we can reduce the pressure drop this is done by making pleats this is pleated filter and the air is flowing and the air is flowing through the larger area as it is pleated. So, the pressure drop will be reduced and there will be more surface for filtration. So, it is suitable for high efficiency filtration plating process leads to bigger filter surface and consequently the smaller pressure drop. So, this will result lower pressure drop and the end uses are the pre filters HEPA filter used for air ventilation and air conditioning system auto cabin air filter there are different industrial applications are also there. So, this is used and even it is used for the automobile filter. Next is that pocket filter it is similar to that plated filter only difference is that only filter thickness is similar to other filter dimension generally it is possible to use nearly all textile at first the filters are stitched and then they are formed of pockets ok. These are pockets are formed and the air is flowing from one direction polluted air is flowing and it is a clean air is coming. So, due to this pockets present in the filter structure the area is very high area is increased. So, pressure drop is reduced. So, this is again used for pre filter of HEPA filters next type of filter based on the shape is the cartridge filter cartridge is very commonly used for many applications like liquid filter or even air filter ok. This is the filter cartridge where the flat that is bulk filter or this is the flat filter or pleated filter is wrapped around a perforated tube this is a perforated tube this flat filter or pleated filter is wrapped around this the advantage is that smaller dimension of filter with large acting surface. So, actually this surface acting surface is very large, but dimension is very small 
So, this is used this type of filters are used where we have smaller dimension like water filter system or car filtration. So, uh, that in those case says the dam area the amount of the area present is very small. So, we need this type of filter here the polluted air or polluted liquid it is actually flowing from this side entering into the system and it is passed through the filter medium and then after filtration it is penetrating through the perforation of this tube and it is coming out the clean air is coming out. So, this is the filtration system example of cartridge filter. Another system is the it is a bag filter with pulse jet system. So, these are the very large dimension bags the principle is similar to cartridge filter here, but here the bag length is much bigger than the diameter. So, this diameter of bag is compared to the length is smaller. So, it is a very big size bags are there commonly many bag filters are used for one applications in hundreds of bags are used to provide larger surface area. Most of the dust is collected on the surface of the filter. So, the dusty air enters from the this side and getting filtered and it is coming out the outlet clean air is coming out from other side and in the outer surface the dusts are collected. Okay. So, if we need to clean we can use pulse jet of air of pressure 1000 to 2000 Pascal at that high pressure the pulse jet is impinged on the filter surface for a very small time of point 1 second to 100 second that dip that varies which cleans the filter bag because we cannot change this filter bag repeatedly we cannot replace also that is why we have to use the pulse jet system and the dust is collected here. This is used for industries where heavy dust loadings are there like cement industry, textile industry, okay. so the where huge quantity of dust is generated. If you see the picture, this is actual dimension of back filters, these are all back filters are there, okay. the hundreds of bags are here. Now, we will discuss, we will discuss the product based on the applications and performance. So, there are air filters and water filters. So, if we want to filter the air, so air filtrations are there. So, air filters are of different types, one is HVAC filter heat ventilation air conditioning filter, HEPA filter high efficiency particulate air filter commonly known as HEPA filter, ULPA filter ultra low penetration filter, air purifying respirators which is actually used for respiration purpose, face mask back filtration. 
So, these are the filters based on applications or performance okay. and for liquid filter we have filter paper, cartridge filter, back filter also. So, there are different types of applications. Now, if we see HVAC filter these are of three categories one is fiber glass filter. So, glass fiber of 15 to 60 micron highly porous so, protects air system such as fans, motors, cooling coils, heat exchanger. So, fiber glass filters HEPA HVAC filters are used plated filters natural like cotton or synthetic fibers are used highly porous usually supported by wire mesh in V shape. This is piece uh, plated filter and electric filter electrostatic charge filter. So, these are basically with low filtration efficiency. If we want higher filtration efficiency then we have to use HEPA filter high efficiency particulate arrestance filter. This is actually recommended by European committee for standardization and HEPA filter can be divided into 5 different categories H 10, H 11, 12, 13, 14. As we go from H 10, so to H 14 the filtration efficiency increases gradually with H 10 filtration efficiency is typically 85 percent and H 14 it is 99.995 percent filtration efficiency. It is very high filtration efficiency, but if we want higher filtration efficiency than this we have to go to ULPA filter. It is in the same series, but for high filtration efficiency ultra low particulate uh, air filter where the filtration efficiency is very high. So, U 15, U 16, U 17, U 15 99.9995 okay, and U 17 is almost 100 percent. The arrestance percent is very, very uh, penetration is very, very low here where arrestance is very high. So, if we need very high filtration efficiency we must use U 70 type 17 type filter. Next is that air purifying respirators which is used as face mask. Okay. Air purifying respirators are defined as the devices designed to provide the wearer with respiratory protection against inhalation from hazardous atmosphere. APRs are face mask, gas mask, etcetera. Activated carbons are also used to absorb and remove dangerous chemical and fumes. These are the different sizes of particles, their biological contaminants, different types of dust, heavy dust, settling dust and suspended atmospheric dust. So, this suspended atmospheric dust are dangerous in nature, we have to remove this from the gas and these are having the particle size from 0.01 to 0.1 micron. Then particulate contaminants, these are the contaminants smog, soot, tobacco smog, okay, oil smoke. So, all these things are coming under the suspended atmospheric dust. So, 
we have to use that this atmospheric particulate matter we know we should know this particulate matter to remove the this particles from the gas using the face mask the subtypes of atmospheric particulate matters or terms are suspended particulate matter SPM it is commonly known as SPM respirable particles inhalable coarse particles which are particles with diameter between 2.5 to 10 microns and fine particles. So, depending on the particle size, so we can divide. So, fine particles are diameter with 2.5 micron or less. So, this diameter it is known as basically P m 2.5 or also we can express P m 10 ultra fine particles or shoot these are the different terms we can use for particulate matters. Now, most commonly used particulate matters are P m 2.5. Nowadays, we hear the term P m 2.5 very frequently. What is that? The term fine particles or particulate matter 2.5 like P m 2.5 refers to tiny particles or droplets in the air that are 2.5 microns or less in width. Why are we using width? Because the particles are not necessarily spherical in nature. Okay. The width is the maximum uh, dimension. The example is that P m 2.5 is expressed in terms of say, say 35 microgram per cubic meter. What does it mean? 35 means the particle of size 2.5 micron. The if we take 1 cubic meter of air total mass present is 35 microgram and P m 10, 10 means particulate matter of size 10 micron or less. This includes the P m 2.5 also it is a cumulative size and this is if it is yearly average for a particular place and daily average for particular. So, we can get this value in terms of daily average or in terms of yearly average and another term which is used for mask is N95 it is very commonly used it is a US standard which equivalent European standard is P 2 and P 3 mask with the P 3 offering higher protection. The N 95 mask has a particle filter efficiency more than 95 percent with the particle size of 0.3 micron. So, N 95 is showing that if we use 0.3 micron particles it will have efficiency more than 95 percent. So, this mask are intended for use in infection control practices. We will stop here till then thank you, thank you for present hearing.